Deer Dairy. Yep. It is apparently Friday. Why do I not know that? Because it's just habit, I think, at this point to check and make sure. We just got finished, I guess it's about <clears throat> an hour and 15 minutes ago or so, doing the, um, the Bakes podcast where we gave away three ships. Three ships in one night. Quite a bit of, um, a, quite a bit of a giveaway there. Um, the ships that we gave away, of course, were for Star Citizen. We gave away a Freelancer. We gave away a... a another ship. I can't think of the name of right now. And we gave away a... Um, a Hornet Ghost. Very, very... Oh, I, I almost remembered what the second one was. Almost. Almost remembered. Can't quite remember what it was. But, um, yeah, it was very, very cool. Uh, got to give away a lot of ships. Um, some very happy people out there right now. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? <laughs> it's a little early. We're, we're a minute and 45 seconds into this, and I'm already saying, hmm. What else can I tell you? <laughs> we did the pay. Well, okay, let's start at the beginning. Let's start at the beginning of the day. I went to sleep about 1 o'clock, right, because I was watching uh, my, my friend Karater play, um, which I've been mispronouncing his name. Sorry, I'm sorry. I keep pronouncing it Karater. It's not. It's Karater. K-A-R-A-D. Er, um, K A R A D U R. There we go, Karater. Um, and I keep mispronouncing, so I apologize. Anyway, I was watching him play, um, FTL on hard mode, trying to unlock the last of the ships last night, and he was getting a wee bit upset <laughs> about it. Oh, it was because things would go great, and then all of a sudden they would just come crashing down just, just shatter and fall apart as the rng or random number generator um just starts screwing him over in a major way um but you know he'd be at the beginning of the of the thing you know just starting out in phase one going through and you know, he's in the first sector i mean just started on hard mode heading through the thing and He's like, oh, wow, this is going great. This is so easy. And I'm like, shh, don't jinx it. But, you know, he doesn't really listen. And he's like, oh, I'm going to kick so much ass. No, you're not. <laughs> and sure enough, he didn't. The one thing, it, it's always like there's, there's one thing that he didn't quite account for or that he forgot to do. Like leveling your oxygen up to level two. Because if the mothership or the big, you know, rebel flagship hacks your oxygen supply, and you're at level one, you're toast. You're not going to survive that. Mm -mm. So, if you're at level two, you can do it. But level one, newt. You cannot do it. It's not possible. Well, it's, not, it's not that it's not possible. But it is extremely difficult. Um, Because you have to fight the the flagship plus you have to deal with whatever damage is being done to your ship and repair it then of course there's no oxygen in your ship so you have to keep sending people to the med bay to get regenerated and send them back out into a vacuum again to continue trying to fight the ship and it's just it's there's too much going wrong all at one time not cool don't do that um, okay, sorry, weird sounds coming from throughout the house, but it is a quarter after eight on a Friday evening. Things are going to start getting a little crazy around here. And, uh, yeah, so five minutes, I think I'll try to cut. 
I think I'll try to cut this one short. Yikes. Um, people are going to start coming through the wall. And even uh, just head straight through the drywall. <laughs> oh, hi, Trent. Sorry. There's, I think there's a... I think there's a tickle bite going on over there. Okay. <clears throat> um, uh, so, yeah. Um, I woke up this morning, unfortunately, at 4 a.m. Went to sleep at 1, woke up at 4, wide awake. And I could not go back to sleep until about 8. It was like, it was just after dawn. Um, and I was like, okay, uh, fine. I laid back down. When I woke up later, I was expecting to look at the, actually was closer to 7, 7.30. But I laid back down, and I was expecting to see the clock say 8.30, 9 o'clock. And I look at the clock, and it's noon. And I'm like, oh, my God! You know, <laughs> I jump out of bed, and I just dive for my computer and try to find out what, you know, voiceover audition things that I have that have been sent to me. Um... I have agreed to do a story called the, is it the region of Jennifer? Yes, the region of Jennifer. Um, not exactly sure what it's about, <clears throat> but the guys at Starship Sopa have just been told that, yes, we can do the narration for that, so. That will be the next narration I will be doing for them. Then I also have to do flash fire systems for, um, well, not for Robert Space Industries, or for Star Citizen, but for them. Um, and then I've got, you know, whatever um, paying gigs that I have <laughs> to do through uh, the, the site that I'm doing. Um, but yeah, we're, uh, we're closing in on, on some cool stuff. We had a lot of fun... Wednesday, was it Wednesday, Thursday, yesterday, <clears throat> with, um, <clears throat> excuse me, goodness, <clears throat> um, a lot of fun yesterday with Ben Lesnick and James Pugh on the StarCast thing, which I uploaded this morning, um, really cool show, they were, they were a lot of fun to have on board, we will probably, probably be doing the same thing on well, the same sort of thing on Wednesday the 30th of April which is next Wednesday um we will be interviewing Ben and James again at possibly will on um Star Citizen base uh the radio station so that'll be on Wednesday and then on Thursday I'll have the Star uh Starcast Star Citizen podcast and then on Friday I'll have the St <laughs> Star Citizen base radio show but this is crazy craziness all right so i'm gonna let you guys go and um yeah hopefully i hope you have a great weekend because i mean for those of you in australia it's already you know saturday afternoon when as of when i record this <clears throat> but um good luck good luck and may the odd and by that i mean the bizarre be ever your flavor. Be careless.